I remember seeing him around all the races, junior nationals and all that sort of stuff. Just thought he was a big unit, had a lot of skill, had a lot of talent. I was young when I came here. And it's sort of like cricket teams, AFL teams and all that sort of stuff. They, you know, they give the young guy a hard time for a little while. It's a very difficult environment to be put into because there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of attitude, there's a lot of uh, charisma, there's mind games, there's all sorts of things. It's a really competitive environment. You know, from the age of about 17 through to 21, it was pretty tough. The culture that existed over there and his natural, fun-loving nature, it, it didn't really work for him very well in that, like, you trained hard and then you played hard. The fact that I like to go out and socialise and sort of got me in, in trouble and it was a bit of a hothead and... Obviously that's what um, made him a good sprinter, I suppose. We've got to have a little bit of aggression. I was young too, I, I played up a little bit uh, one night and um, we thought I'll head into the city, and which I didn't do a hell of a lot. And um, yeah, found myself in a bit of trouble with, with a few bounces and very, very scary night that night because uh, I, basically, I basically got bashed by the bouncers um, because I was, I was talking to someone over a, a rope where you enter. We weren't too happy about that because we were standing around and crowding the area and um, got in a bit of trouble there and um, yeah, got arrested by the cops and um, spent a few hours in a cell which was an interesting experience. Um, even though you know, I was doing really well and you know, I, was, I think I was ranked number three in Australia at that time so I was definitely in the hunt to go to Beijing. And they were telling me, like a leopard never changes its spots, so we, you know, we're never ever going to support you again, you'll never be part of a CA or AOS program for the rest of your career. I moved back from Adelaide uh, to Melbourne and was doing things by myself, so I was working at the same time as trying to uh, perform on an international stage and compete with the guys that were full time. My wife uh, fell pregnant as well. I was chasing to go to the Olympics, but at the same time I knew, you know, we had a child coming and, you know, got to provide for the family. So it was pretty tough in 2008 because I was sort of on the outer, I guess, in the sport. And um, couldn't really see the cycling going anywhere. There wasn't really a light at the end of the tunnel with it. So I sort of took a punt and, wanted to represent my country in, in, uh, in another area. I applied for the army in uh, late 2008 and was accepted. One day I rang him up at work and uh, I said, look son, uh, I don't know where you want to go with your bikes. I said, but the only thing that concerns me is if you walk away, you might always question yourself, would I or could I have? And we just sat down and talked about it and I said, well, what do you, what do you really want to do? And um, I encouraged him to stick with his cycling and I knew he was nowhere near reaching his potential at that stage and I knew he could have a big career in it. I looked at myself and thought, well, yeah, I've, I've stuffed up here. I need to take a couple of consequences and and work my way uh, back in there. Uh, it's a little bit daunting to see someone with so much potential and prospects to say, I need your help. If you get to ride the World Cup and you can do well there, um, you'll find out one way or the other way where they're prepared to give you another go. I said, because if they don't, you won't, they'll, they'll cut you off. You won't get back in. Perkins hits out as they go down the back straight. He's got the better of the Frenchman. He's going to collect the gold medal. He's going through in straight sets. The Frenchman offers no resistance at all. Perkins wins the gold medal. Great performance. Isn't he happy about it? Yeah, great win there by Shane Perkins. His first ever intervention. He had the pass into the army. Then that World Cup happened and he won. And he's like, I have two options. I go down this path 
and it's going to be a completely different to what this path might offer me. And this path might only be really short, <laughs> but it's there. About a week or two weeks later, uh, I got an invite uh, from overseas and I thought, you know, this is pretty cool. Open it up and sure enough, it was an invite to come to Japan. And I think, you know, the doubt that he had initially was overrun by that, that simple question of what if.